Hi everyone, uh, I'm Irene. And I'm Ben. And we want to introduce you to Roman, our 93 Gulfstream Conquest. Follow me and we'll go check out the inside. So, this is the combination room, living room, dining room, and kitchen. Um, we were going for a fun, laid-back, beachy, bohemian style on this one, and we I had a lot of fun coming up with the details I wanted to do. Um, if you come over here, I'll show you the loft. We'll go front to back. The loft um, has been completely rebuilt and um, with a fun... Uh, shiplap wall, um, we rebuilt the shelf, the platform itself is all new, and it's a nice queen size bed, uh, extra long, with curtains that, for privacy, everything, we wanted everything to be washable and easy to um, maintain and take care of. Uh, the ladder can go up or down. Um, this front detail was really fun. I designed it, my husband cut it for us. And just to add a little bit of flair, these curtains, of course, can close. Um, Good little if, privacy thing. Yeah, if you want to shut off the vehicle part of things to make it feel more homey. Um, they also push back the seats are in <laughs> reclined position. So um, anyway, they open up if you are on the go. Um, here's our lovely dinette. We redid all of the tabletops and counters. Um, just to make it feel more modern. Um, this is really kind of cool. The, the bed very easily uh, adapts, or the, the dinette easily adapts into a bed. You just slide these down. And also, cool thing I've, uh, that's unique about this one is that this can pop down, so if you want to recline the seat a little bit more, you can. For, for those of us who are Tall drivers. <laughs> exactly. Not a problem for me. Um, and the this also, uh, the dinette has four seat belts, so two on each side, um, so you can travel and play bridge at the same time, if the spirit moved you. And very easily um, converts. So Back into the that table. That was really cool. Cool touch. Whoops. All right. So, and these, these seat covers are all removable and washable. Yep. Um, and it has two captain's chairs over on this side. Beautiful um, hard or wood flooring that we thought was pretty awesome. Um, the, the captain's chairs also rotate. They also have seat belts oh, un under the seat covers. Another cool custom feature of Ronin is this nice little side table here. Um, so you can eat here or um, just have a nice place to set your drink or whatever. There's also cup holders on the back. Or a good cool chess feature. table. Good good yeah. chess table. If that's what you're into. Yeah. Um, all of the cupboards have been refinished. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about this detailing. No, I did not use a stencil. Yes, I hand painted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just wanted to give it a little bit of bohemian charm. Uh, plus, I had a lot of fun redoing this one. This one has a special place in my heart. Um, okay, so here's our cute little yellow kitchen. It has a um, propane uh, three burner stove and a little oven. Everything works great. Um, the sink here has two basins and um, only fixtures here. The, uh, there's three drawers here, lots of storage. The fridge has been completely um, rebuilt, so it's essentially new and there's a nice deep cupboard up here. All of the cupboards have um, soft closure hinges and, or, and are road ready with these cool little locks that make it so that they don't fly open while you're on the road. Should we start the generator so that that works for while for we're it. right here? It's a little cold this morning, so it might take it a moment, but she'll fire up. There she is. And there's the AC. And there's the air conditioner running, so we have it on. So the yep. generator or or plug-in to shore power is required for the microwave or the air conditioner 
and the outlets, basically anything that takes a lot of power. Yep. Okay, moving back. Ben, you're gonna <laughs> run into Maybe a wall I'll, here. I'll switch your places. Yeah, there's a cool little shower here with a skylight for um, extra natural light. There's also a very retro light in here, orange. Very sexy. Nice amber lens. <laughs> yes. And then across the hall, oh, more fun details. I really went to town, couldn't help myself. There's a nice little water closet in here. And you see, um, again, new countertops and fixtures. Beautiful little powder room there. With actually lots of storage. I installed this uh, extra heavy velvet curtain for boudoir privacy. And over here we have a I'll switch your places. Okay, yeah. Let's do that. Um, over here we have really a very cool master bedroom suite situation. There's tons of storage, lots of drawers and cupboards, and even more storage up here. A really nice big comparatively uh, closet here um, with mirror drawers, more storage below, nice little countertop, um, these speakers connect up to the cab um, CD player so you can pump your jams a little bit old school. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, nice, lots of light back here and the bed pops up with some more storage. Very cool. All the bedding, all of the um, textiles come with Roman. They just go together. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for the interior. All right, well, maybe we'll go outside. All right, sounds good. Okay, coming outside here, we'll start up at the cab. Uh, Roman is based on a Ford E350, a Super Duty chassis, 1993 model year, um, with a 7 point, I believe 7.5 liter V8. Um, runs really well. We've had a mechanic go through the entire vehicle, um, including we had them do some repairs. Uh, we've got a brand new battery, vehicle battery, uh, brand new front tires, brand new steering components up front, front new brakes. Uh, front brakes, rear brake drums and seals, um, and a full mechanical report on the on the condition of things mechanically. All looks good. Um, drive, drives really well, handles great, uh, great get up and go on the freeway. The mechanic was really impressed at how well it ran, runs. Um, 108,000 miles. We um, replaced all of the old caulk all around the windows, really sealed it up nice to um, make sure it stays tight inside. The roof has been fairly recently replaced and um, uh, we just... It, it was in really great shape, yeah. to be honest. Um, that was a nice surprise. But uh, the we just went over and resealed any little, you know, lips and seams and bolts uh, just to make sure it's nice and watertight. It's very important in an RV. Yeah. Um, there was something yeah. else in my mind that I wanted to say. I can't think of it. But anyway, carry well, on. Well, just uh, walking through here, there's this compartment is the propane tank and filling station where you turn on and off the propane. Propane uh, runs the stove, oven, Fridge. furnace, and frid refrigerator when it's not plugged into electric. This is our first storage bin. As you can see, it goes all the way across to the other side, um, which is super handy. Uh, this little, these uh, handles are for pulling down the awning. It comes with two packages of leveling blocks, as well as a fiberglass repair kit should you ever need it um, working our way back we have an exterior outlet which is handy uh, this is just the rear vent of the refrigerator we have another full pass-through uh, undercarriage storage as well as some extra paint for the colors we did on the inside um, it has a full awning that works great you can um, see that in the the listing photos. Yeah, and the we listing photos up. we have. We're not going to open it now. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's fun. It's involved. Awnings are fun. Uh, uh, very funky rear uh, spare, like spare tire it. cover. Like it. Um, does have a, a receiving hitch and trailer hookups. Uh, 
behind the spare tire. The spare tire folds down and to access this extra storage bin that goes into underneath the underneath bed. the master bed, which is super handy. Um, this is the other side of the storage bin that we just looked at that comes all the way through. This is the, the dump part where we uh, access the black and gray tanks to, to dump. Um, the water systems all work well. Uh, the dumping system is where you fill gasoline, unleaded gasoline. That's what runs this vehicle. And the generator. And the, uh, it runs the generator as well off of the same tank. Um, this is where you either fill the culinary water tank or hook up to just a culinary water to stay hooked up. This is the back vents for the furnace and oven, or water heater. This is the other, no, I'm sorry, that is access to the water systems, the culinary water tank and drain and water pump. Um, this is the electrical power source where you plug into either the generator or pull out the cable to plug into shore power. This is the other side of the full pass-through um, storage with some unused tire irons and jacks, as well as uh, parking chocks, That's wheel, wheel garage, chocks. Basically. That's the garage, yeah. Um, here is the generator, which is fantastic. As we saw from the inside, even on a cold morning, it started up really well. Um, it's a Generac NP52G, which is 5.2 kilowatts. Works really well, runs well. Um, we've run it continually, multiple times for a long period, just to make sure it runs well with with power stress, like the air compressor. Or, I mean, sorry, the air conditioner on. This is the cab. These lovely plush blush seats, kind of dated, but they're comfy. Period 90s. <laughs> period 90s, Vintage. yes. Same with the uh, wood trim. Um, yeah, CD player with auxiliary plug. Starts up and runs really well. Um, we have a full set of owner's manuals, both for the Ford vehicle as well as the coach and components. Uh, all the owner's manuals are there, as well as receipts for things that we've done, the mechanical repairs we've done, a full mechanical report of, of what the mechanic saw and what he thought of the unit, um, as well as for about, about six years worth of um, repair receipts from the previous owner as well. Things like the air conditioner being serviced and the refrigerator being rebuilt and the furnace being serviced and things like that. Um, there you have it. This is Roman. Um, maybe we'll do a little anything else with Roman? No, but we're excited for Roman to find a new home. He's really, really special and can't wait for the right person to come along. Yeah, have a good one. Bye. Let, us, let us know if you have questions.